Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of January 1910, the first public radio broadcast featured a live performance from the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. Inventor Leader Forrest earned a doctorate from Yale's Sloan Physics Laboratory in 1899 and soon moved to New York City where he worked on improvements to existing radio technology that was being developed by Hertz and Marconi in Europe. It was while in New York that de Forest developed a three-element vacuum tube known as an audion, which, despite finding little immediate success, established the possibility of amplifying radio signals. De Forest formed the De Forest Radio Telephone Company in 1907, and in an advertisement the same year, he claimed that it would soon be possible to broadcast radio signals throughout the city for the public to hear. Three years later, he was to prove his prediction correct when he made the first live broadcast from New York's Metropolitan Opera House. Having installed a 500-watt wireless transmitter backstage, De Forest ran his antenna to the roof, where a long fishing pole acted as the mast. Since so few private individuals owned radio sets at the time, De Forest set up public receivers across the city. The signal, reportedly reached as far as Newark and even a ship moored in New York Harbour, is said to have tuned in. The broadcast included performances that featured acclaimed Italian tenor Enrico Caruso. However, contemporary accounts reveal that the principal performers were barely audible due to the low sensitivity of the microphones in use, while static and other interference clouded the signal. Nevertheless, De Forest had shown that public radio broadcasts were possible, and this stimulated attempts to broadcast music over the airwaves. Thank you.